Hi everyone, welcome back. Today is my day off and I have been patiently waiting to get started in my garden. I've got my plan completed. I've got all my seeds ready to go. I've got my sunscreen on and I'm ready to head outside and get my hands dirty. So let's head outside and get started. Home Depot, we are going to start our new project with expanding our raised beds. Uh, we're going to be making um, our beds out of corrugated metal, similar to the ones that we already have, but we realized that it was going to be pretty expensive if we bought some or we had somebody build it. So we're just taking a trip right now, uh, going to go pick up some corrugated metal panels, some pressure treated wood, and just a bunch of material to put it all together. So those are plans that I have done for our raised gardens. Um, this is the length that it's going to be. I'm going to have three panels of eight feet panels uh, by a three foot panel, which is going to be against the wall right here. So this is where behind the brick wall is going to be sticking out three feet. Uh, we're going to go down a foot and a half. So I have extended out the frame uh, so it can have a good base into the ground. And like I said, it's going to be first panel, second panel, third panel, and we're going to uh, have it run against the wall. So these are some of the tools that we're going to be using on today's project. I have two drills, uh, one for to drilling the screws, the other is going to be actually for pre-drilling the holes. Pretty much sucks when you have to go back and forth between uh, drilling the hole, pulling it out, so it's easier to use too. Um, also have an isosceling multi-tool, this is what we're going to be using to cutting the corrugated metal. Um, I have a square mallet for hitting in uh, any odd pieces and also for shifting to making sure that everything is good 90 degree angles. Tape measure, marker, uh, wood deck screws. Uh, these are better for outside. Screwdriver, because when I what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be making a long slit along the two by four and we need to be able to take out all the little etching pieces of uh, wood that are inside. And beer for just for good measure. Hey guys, we're out here in the yard. We're gonna work on our raised gardens. Earlier we went to Home Depot to go pick up our supplies, which was our two by fours, which we have uh, pressure treated, and as well as our corrugated metal. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these uh, pressure treated wood into the right uh, lengths so we can go ahead and build our frame.
I'm planting some seeds. I'm going to do four Clemson spineless okras. So I just put my finger in just a tad. Pour the seeds out. No, those are good size. So I just put one in each. If they're really, really small seeds, I normally do two or three seeds. But like the larger ones, like let me show you the lima beans I just planted earlier. So I just planted one in each. Whereas some that are a lot smaller, for example, your lettuce and um, even your peppers. Here's some peppers. So I'm just going to do two of these. See how small those are? So I'm probably going to do about two each one. And the smaller they are, you don't plant them as deep. So I'll just cover it with some dirt. Label them so you know what you have. I bought these labels on Amazon. They're pretty affordable. They have different colors so you can get an idea of what you have planted next to each other. So these are the peppers, which hopefully I'll be able to make a good salsa this year. I haven't done that yet. So earlier I went ahead and did a long slit along this 2x4 with a table saw. Um, I also I went about a, about half inch deep or so and then I also moved the table saw over about a half inch or excuse me about an eighth of an inch just overlapping the same slit to make it a little bit wider. Uh, reason for this is this is where I'm going to be putting in the corrugated metal. I want to build a frame around it but have the metal not showing on any sides. I used a screwdriver right here basically to take off any of the little etchings, pieces of wood that it did not cut. So I just ran basically along the length the whole way and cleaned it out. So let's see how it goes. So right here I have basically our front and back end. What I did is I got a two x four and I ran it through table saw. I did a perfect square, so one and a half by one and a half. If you don't know, an actual two x four is not exactly two inches by four inches. It's one and a half by three and a half inches. So what I did is this is gonna be the front part of our frame and it's gonna be the back end of our frame.
So here we have our finished product. We have the two by four capping uh, corrugated metals in between. We have uh, the one by one and a half by one and a half on each end. I put one in the middle as well for a little bit of extra support. As you can see, the back is basically the same thing. 